ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. Hello, this is James Spann. This is our Weather Extreme video for Thursday, the 10th of January. Severe weather, a possibility today. That's our weather headline and some mischief maybe late this weekend with wintry weather. A lot on the board. Let's get right to it. First off, a look at the uh, Birmingham Sky Cam this morning, and yep, raindrops on the lens. A uh, band of showers uh, passing through parts of central Alabama this morning, but the uh, chance of severe weather holds off until uh, late today and early this evening, more than likely. Down to the south, there's a look at some fog over Clanton, and that's that uh, fog you often see on the north side of a warm front. That warm front still down to the south of here. And the big question is, can it move north? And we think that it will. And from Tuscaloosa, we're looking down at the intersection of Greensboro Avenue and University Boulevard. The uh, showers have been making the streets wet there as well. Well, there's our big trough developing across the nation's midsection this morning. And uh, that will be rotating through here later today and tonight, setting up, if nothing else, a good rain event. Uh, there's a look at our surface chart this morning. And this is suggesting the warm front is still near Montgomery uh, early this morning, and that's probably uh, right. That will be moving northward today. The surface low is developing over southern Kansas, and uh, that should help to pull that thing north. And we do think the surface dew points will rise up into the uh, low and mid-60s later today. Now, the um, early morning convective outlook uh, for today, no real change. A slight risk over all of Alabama, north into Kentucky, and uh, really, it runs from New Orleans up to Louisville. And uh, they have mentioned that they might upgrade this to a moderate risk for parts of Alabama, it, depending on the instability issues. If it looks like we'll get the higher dew points in here, and if it looks like we could see some breaks in the cloud cover today. But for the moment, as I do this update, the uh, risk is still considered uh, slight. And this is where we are early this morning. Again, I do this about 5 o'clock in the morning. The green contours, those are the dew points. And the 60-degree uh, dew point is still down there near Montgomery. And then you get down to uh, Mobile. You've got dew points around 64. Uh, the really juicy dew points are down there in the uh, northwestern Gulf. And accordingly, that's where the higher cape values are this morning, the instability. You can see a, a surface-based cape of 3,500 uh, down to the south of Galveston. Uh, but there is a little positive Cape uh, inland over south Alabama and south Mississippi, and that will be moving north during the day today. And uh, many of the models suggest the instability here this afternoon could be as high as 1,000 joules. And for January, that's pretty significant. And certainly there will be a lot of veering today with the wind. This is the uh, helicity early this morning, uh, 0 to 3 kilometer. And you can see out there in advance of the upper trough, it is, uh, maxes out at 450 on the Texas-Louisiana border. So uh, the helicity will not be an issue today. As usual in January, it's the uh, issue about the instability. Now, on the positive side, rain, uh, good. Again, we're projecting one to two inches of rain statewide with this thing, and we'll welcome that and celebrate that. Uh, let's look at modeling here. Uh, this is uh, 6 o'clock today uh, off the OZ GFS. Uh, that's a very classic setup for severe weather there. That's the 500 millibar look, and you can see our trough. And uh, down below that, the uh, surface low is uh, south of Chicago, uh, down to 1,000 millibars with the uh, uh, squall line coming through here. No doubt there will be a squall line tonight uh, with the potential for some Boeing segments and strong straight line winds, damaging straight line winds. And uh, also, we do believe if the dew points can rise up there, and we really break in the warm sector, there could be a few isolated storms in advance of that late this afternoon with the potential for some rotation. And there's a look at the forecast instability and helicity this afternoon. This is the combo, and this is at 6 o'clock. And again, you can see the helicity is just off the chart. And the instability, that's that green uh, down below the blue lines. You can see that's uh, down in the green. That would be uh, between uh, 500 and a thousand joules and this is off the NAM and the NAM historically tends to underestimate instability in the cold weather season so we will be on our toes today tomorrow the system out of here uh, we are dry and cooler highs back in the 50s where they should be Saturday here comes our next uh, impulse out in West Texas Sunday digging down in here going negative trolled and oh boy that looks stronger and oh boy yeah there's a look at the surface chart 
at midday Sunday. Surface low oh, around uh, Brunswick, Georgia. And the freeze line at 850 millibars or about 5,000 feet is sitting right over Birmingham. And that's almost suggesting a pretty good little snow event for uh, northeast Alabama right there. Yikes. Uh, you know, I've always said we need to get the thing out of here today, then we can focus on that. And, of course, we'll really do that tomorrow. But this is an idea of how clueless the GFS perhaps was. In the, it's, it's, it's been on the storm for, what, two weeks. It's done a great job. Uh, but in terms of uh, the potential for this, I'm afraid it's starting to see it now. So again, Sunday, we've got a chance of light rain in the forecast, and we might uh, certainly have to look at a chance of light snow if this trend continues. Now, temperatures will be somewhat marginal. Surface temps at midday Sunday should be above freezing. Uh, I'm not so sure it's going to be a big deal, but it certainly bears watching. And again, let's focus on this thing tonight and tomorrow once we get today's severe weather out of here. And then Monday of next week, it's a big snowstorm up in New England that's uh, moving on out. It will be much colder, highs in the 40s. And Tuesday, we should be in the 20s to start the day. Deeper into January, model madness creeping in. This is the 18th. Got kind of a split flow thing going here. And, and this is a different look we've seen. Uh, on the 18th, we've got the short wave uh, off to the west. And again, that looks icy for somebody probably north of here, if this is correct. And a big snow out there in places like El Paso and Lubbock. And then on the 19th, the surface low comes in here with a big snowstorm for Dallas and Again, that would be primarily rain here. And then on the 21st, instead of the big Arctic dump, we've got this kind of split flow thing, and we've got the big ridge over Alaska and western Canada, and then we'd have cold air and then kind of an active pattern below that. That looks awfully uh, suspicious, and again, that looks icy maybe for somebody. But look at that, 1,048 millibar high. That's cold. Uh, it looks like it'll be a very interesting mid-month pattern at the end of the cycle, the 25th. On this run, we're kind of under some ridging here, but again, we will focus on the long range later. The uh, situation here involves our short-term events that we'll certainly focus on today and the uh, next one on Sunday. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog, the next video here by 3.30, and I say that it might be the weather's going to be too active to crank one out today. So if that's the case, we'll have the next one here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. Uh, we'll be on the air, of course, if we have uh, active weather. And we invite you to watch us on ABC 3340 News tonight at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, and God bless. Weather, 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 weather.